so this is sort of just out and about like you know where I sort of live and whatnot um, there's a few little tracks and stuff um, and about to actually go just over it through another gate um, this is just the track and it actually takes you up uh, to a place where you can overlook uh, Lake George so we might go up there for a quick little uh, little look um, the moment I'm still in two wheel drive it's dried out a little bit compared to what it was but there's going to be a bit of water on this track up ahead so hopefully it's uh, not too bad obviously I wouldn't film normally while, while I'm driving like at least not while holding the camera but uh, being on private property you have a little bit more leeway with that kind of thing All right, we might chuck it in four low for this not that we need it I've done this in two wheel drive but we can just crawl up some of this like bit here and stuff you know you can obviously tell we're sort of up in the hills a little bit it's very 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 rocky up through here the kangaroos are usually up through here somewhere too so we might see a few more of those this time It looks uh, quite tame, but it's actually a little bit on the deep side just here. So we'll just, uh, don't have any lockers in at the moment. Don't really need them. here a lot more than it was last time I come out. So that's a nice big little rock over there and whatnot. Going on, let's go. Oh, just dropped into that hole that I was uh, showing you earlier. So this really doesn't look like a lot on the camera, but there is like these holes are actually quite sizable. Um, like I haven't had wheel lift yet, so. But uh, this used to be a lot smoother, a lot easier to sort of get out here. Um, this is sort of some of the areas where, like, when I can't get away from, uh, you know, the, the like work or whatever else, I'll come and, you know, sometimes camp out the back out here or at the other spot from, like, the other videos. Like, there's actually, like, a few spots out here um, where you can camp and whatnot. Um, Obviously, you have to have the landowner's permission, which I do. Um, but got a nice little billabong there. Um, yeah, so in a minute, we're going to cut 
Oh, this way. I was going to say, down through here. So this is very, very, very slippery through here, especially when it's wet. That is a very deep like hole or rut there. I haven't had, driven through that in a while because it's just gotten so bad. Yeah, I would have got stuck there if I didn't have four-wheel drive. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's still very wet out. You know. So the area where I'm going to do like uh, the swag setup and stuff is just coming up here. Um, it's nice and open. As you can see, there's uh, it's very very wet and, and that out here and very muddy in some areas but this is uh this is where i'll do the swag sort of set up here is there's a couple of like nice areas where it's just really really open and that but i'll take you guys up and show you the view first and then uh, i'll come back and yeah i'll uh do the do the swags um and whatnot so this is a track when i haven't had a chance to go for a four-wheel drive in a little while you know, I just, I just come up here. It's not a hard track. It's a very easy track. It's great for anyone that just wants to, you know, this is the kind of track that, you know, if you're just trying to learn how your four-wheel drive handles and whatnot, um, you know, I've had a few friends of mine who, you know, have come out here with their four-wheel drives and we've just done this nice little scenic tour. It can be a little bit uh, tight and stuff. And it has actually been, with the rain, a track that's been getting a little bit more challenging each time I drive it. You know, not a lot, but uh, you know, obviously the, the water makes bigger ruts and stuff like that. Um, and it can be a little bit more challenging, but uh, yeah, it's not too bad otherwise. It's a, just a little bit of fun. So, it gets a bit tight in a couple of spots. Yep, just got me mirror. As you can probably you can see there. Just, Got me mirror on the tree. That's one of the reasons why I don't have nice fancy mirrors because I don't like banging them on stuff. So, and then we've got you know, more rocks and stuff here. Oh, Jesus. But as you can tell, like it's a very beautiful area. We're just climbing up up the hill a little bit more and more each each time we go. Um, other than the fact that it's not a huge amount of flat areas to set up, it's actually a really nice area to sort of come out for a, for lunch or something like that if you wanted to. I'm very fortunate. I only live about you know five minutes from here so Alrighty. soft in there but you know we'll give it a go why not worst case I get stuck and I have to winch nah we're gonna be fine all right so now we're just climbing up the hill to go up to up to Lake George but you gotta be careful because there is real deep holes everywhere on this hill Contrary to popular belief, uh, quite often you don't need full throttle to get everywhere. Um, you know, like I've just been crawling, or crawling along, crawling along. You know, and even in the wet, you know, yeah, it's fun, but yeah, it's uh, you don't need full throttle a lot of the time. Like sometimes you do, but you know, you just just take it easy and, and feel it out first. You don't like, you know, the harder you go, the more likely you are to break your vehicle. So, but uh, here is the view that I get from home. This is uh, 
Lake George just outside of like Canberra uh, as you can see it is absolutely chock-a-block full of water out over here more to like the right hand side so out this way out here I don't know if you can see my finger but that's like all the windmills and stuff and it keeps going over the top of the tree lines there's all the windmills out there I don't know if the camera can pick them up but, but yeah, that's Lake George, so it's a, it's a nice view to come up, especially on a day like today. It's usually very, very windy up here as well, so we've got a nice, still, calm day, which you just don't get very often. So, yeah, very, very, very lucky. Good day, to, good day for it. All right. Um, I, I might film just, like, the downhill part for you guys, because I know that, like, I mean, some people probably being new to four-wheel driving might not uh, have the experience when it comes to you know going down a hill so um, yeah I mean I know a lot of cars have like hill descent control and a whole bunch of other stuff but you know mine doesn't so maybe for, for the people who don't have it I can uh, do a little clip where you can just sort of see how to sort of how to go about it because I know a lot of people talk about it but they might not actually show what they're doing so for me we're about to go down that big hill that i just come up um first gear as you can see low range i've got my foot ever so slightly on the throttle at the moment just because obviously when you know in a lot of, sort of got to get to the hill first but uh now so we're going down the hill and you know just tiny little bit of uh foot on the throttle because i don't need it but otherwise you know, I can take my foot off the throttle and just let the car do the work. I can actually, um, it's not that steep of a hill, so I can go into second gear, like, because we don't really need the brakes. So you, you want to try to limit your braking and let the car do it through through its engine braking. Um, obviously, if, I, if it got steeper or whatever else, I could put it in first um, and whatnot. You can tap the brakes if you need to tap the brakes if you feel you're going a little quick or whatever but generally speaking you can just let the car do the work and creep down the hill try not to change gears while you're going down the hill have your gear selected before you go down the hill um, and then yeah look a tiny little bit of brake here and there if you need it but generally try to let the car do all the work so I've done, I've done this hill a lot of times, so I know that second was fine. Um, oh. uh, but yeah, that's about it. So otherwise now we're just sort of going to make our way back down to where the swag setup video is going to be made. So we'll just uh, go through here. All right, so this is just going to be a, a tiny bit of uh, just bonus in-car footage for anyone that wants to, uh, wants to watch it. It's just the trip back down to my house so it's back down some of the uh, fun sort of little bits that I went down before uh, or went up before I should say sorry so yeah uh, obviously uh, enjoy the little bit of a ride back there's a few little like uh, mud holes and stuff but nothing too crazy so up to you guys if you want to watch it or not but yeah just a little bit of bonus footage for you easier 
I figured it's a bit of a different uh, different view for you. Um, maybe adds to the fact that uh, the camera cut out on some of the, uh, the the downhill stuff that I did over the other on one of the other parts of the video. So. Once we get a bit closer to the house, obviously I'll turn the camera off because, uh, you know, I need to be respectful of my neighbours and stuff because I do have a few people that, um, you know, live out here as well. So I've got to, got to uh, protect, protect their privacy as well, you know, like, um, also, uh, no offence, but I don't particularly want uh, everybody knowing exactly where I live. I don't mind uh, sharing, like, the areas where I hang out and stuff and, what not and around like you know where I am but I don't really uh, want everyone to know exactly what where I live and what not so uh, once we go back through the gate that'll be uh, that'll be it see the overlooking of like where all the houses are in the distance there so yeah hopefully you enjoyed that little bit of bonus footage that little bit of drive footage um yeah take it easy have a good one see you